Hey, you guys ready to see a tug of war? Hold my beer. Watch this, guys. So over the weekend, I had an opportunity to sit back and kind of watch some YouTube videos of people doing tug-of-wars with their trucks. There were a lot of Toyota videos, a lot of Ford, Chevy, Ram videos, people just hooking up trucks back-to-back -to, -back to see which one could outpull the other. And after you watch them for a while, if you have any understanding of physics or engineering, you realize that pretty much everything you're seeing is rigged and it's BS. Simply because when you watch dealership videos, the dealerships are either putting one truck in two-wheel drive or the person who's driving one truck isn't really trying. They're not feathering the throttle. They're not being careful to not lose traction. All those different things. So I want to make a video to kind of debunk the tug-of-war videos that you watch and explain why one truck will almost always win over another truck. So first, you're looking at my F450, 2016 F450 Platinum. And the reason why we're starting here is because I want to explain why my truck could very well lose a tug-of-war with a half-ton truck. Or shoot, even a Ford Ranger, if the Ford Ranger is set up to win that tug-of-war. So first of all, you have to understand that winning a tug-of-war is all about traction. And people would say, man, how do you get much more traction in a pickup truck than an F450 with four tires on the back touching the ground and two up front in four-wheel drive? But that's not what it's all about. Traction is only as good as the amount of weight that's actually allowing that traction to make contact with the ground. So if I'm in a tug of war and I'm using my rear hitch as my connection point, I'm gonna have less traction than if I was using a gooseneck hitch inside of my truck, mainly because from this lower point, I'm not gonna have as much downward pressure on the rear tires, thus getting less traction. Now, on the other hand, if I use my gooseneck hitch, the leverage point's gonna be higher and it's gonna pull more weight down on the back tires, which would essentially give me more traction. Also, the tread on your tires has a lot to do with it as well. If you don't have aggressive tires that are able to actually stick to the ground, then it really doesn't matter how much weight that you're putting above them. If they simply can't grab the ground, you're not gonna have any forward momentum, which in turn isn't gonna transfer any power or torque you have to the ground properly, and you're gonna lose a tug of war. Now having four wheel drive or two wheel drive is gonna be a factor, and it will definitely be a factor if you're in, let's say a dirt environment, or you're gonna be on something like loose gravel where you want that extra bite from the front. But the reality is the front part of your truck isn't gonna be much of a factor when it comes to winning a tug of war if you can get a significant amount of weight over the back of your truck. Yes, it does matter how much horsepower and torque you have. If your truck is unable to actually produce the power torque needed to move the truck forward, then it doesn't matter how much traction you have, you simply won't have the ability to turn the axle and get the truck moving. But the reality is, if you have enough weight over the back and you have the horsepower and torque, even if it's not the highest horsepower or highest torque numbers in its class, moving that load or moving forward in a tug of war shouldn't be much of a problem. And whoever has the most weight over the back as well as the most power is generally gonna win. In order to win a tug of war or in order to tow something extremely heavy, you really need traction. Traction makes up 90% of what's needed to actually get something moving. The horsepower, the torque numbers, those also factor in, but those really only factor in when it comes to moving whatever you're trying to pull, especially if it's heavy. If you have the traction, and you have the horsepower and torque, you're generally gonna win. Now, the second aspect behind this is, do your components hold up under the stress if you've applied all those other principles? So if you have the weight over the back to get the traction on the ground, to make sure the tires stick to the ground, and you have the horsepower and torque from your engine, do you have the strength of the chassis and the components in the chassis to move forward without breaking or damaging your vehicle? For instance, if I hook my truck up to a train, which I'm actually thinking about doing, by the way. But if I hook my truck up to a train and I put 6,000 pounds of weight in the bed and I wanna pull that train, I very well could move that train forward. Now what will happen is since my back tires are less likely to spin because I have so much weight, all of that torque and force is gonna be applied to my drive shaft, to my transmission, to my engine components. And in turn, that strain is gonna be applied to the truck and the chassis of the truck itself since traction isn't the problem and I'm not losing any of that energy by spinning the tires. 
So what I'd have to be very careful of is understanding that I could very well break a component at that point trying to pull something if all the power and all the torque is being applied directly to the ground and the truck wants to move forward and there's nothing causing the back tires or the front tires to break free. I hope that makes sense. If you want to come to a tug of war and you want to win a tug of war and you're not afraid of possibly damaging your vehicle, put a ton of weight in the back of your truck, put as many people inside of the cab of your truck, connect the rope or strap to the highest possible point, that's secure of course, and go from there. And you're generally going to have the highest likelihood of winning a tug of war. And again, that's for those people who care about winning a tug of war at all. Thanks everyone. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. It's time for me to win a tug of war.